We've been delving into building some starter homes recently on the channel. And today, that is exactly what we're going to be doing again. This time, we are in the world of Evergreen Harbour, which is the world that came with the expansion pack Eco Lifestyle. I've decided on making this house for three sims. So we do have a budget this time of 24,000 simoleons. And this is the lot we are going to be building on today. It is a 20 by 15 lot in the world of Evergreen Harbour, in the, the kind of neighbourhood area, the bit that kind of like gets developed over time, the more kind of like work you put into it. I think there are a few like kind of modern homes sort of like slowly popping up. I'm saying homes, we all know they're shells. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. I have a reference image that I really liked the look of. I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys now. And I had a little play around off of camera just to kind of see if it would work in The Sims. There was a few things I needed to change here and there. But it does kind of work. It does kind of work. And the best thing about Eco Lifestyle, especially when you're building a starter home, is that a lot of the items are very cheap. Considering how kind of like, I don't know, they always look a little bit more luxurious and modern compared to the rest of them. But we've got like a nice palette of windows and wallpapers and doors and stuff here. Plus, I really want to get in the kind of vibe of Eco Lifestyle. So I have pulled out a solar panel too. Now, as always with starter homes, I will be just sticking to the specific packs of each area. So this is going to be base game and Eco Lifestyle. So without further ado, let's make a start. Now, if you see me looking over, I'm just checking out the reference image just to make sure that I'm doing things right. Okay, so I might want to go up here. We'll go to six, maybe. And let's go to 10. I think that would be a good start off point there. Okay, um, it's kind of got like this diagonal wall moment and I don't think that's going to work in The Sims very well, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it. I refuse flatly to do it, but I'm not going to. And then I'm going to move up. We're going to flop you to there. Um, I think I'm going to go up here with a platform where the kitchen area is going to be. Maybe with a bit of a half wall there which in turn means we need to put some stairs in here. So I'm just going to put some white stairs in for now. In fact, let's go for, we're going to go for like a warm, not a warm timber, but like a nice sort of Scandinavian timber, that light kind of timber aesthetic on the inside, I think, with concrete modern aesthetics. That's what we're doing. Right, so as I said, I want to go up here with the platform. Why are you, why? Oh, maybe I went in a bit too far there. Let's go to there then instead, because I want that. Yes. And then if I lift this up one and then take away, hmm, take away this wall here and then I'm going to go in with a half wall, I think. How have, how tall are you? You might be okay. Would that fit, your, fit a kitchen counter beneath it? I think it will. Oh, stunning. Yes. Okay. And then upstairs, here we go here as well. So come up to here. Um, I'm going to do a children's bedroom and also a parent's bedroom as well. So if I go, let's just map that in first there. Um, I think maybe if I did this, this could be the parent's bedroom at the front here. Now this like, there's like an overhang in the front. There's an overhang in the front of this house. Nearly forgot what it was called then. So I think I'm going to do that here. I think that would be a substantial size bedroom for the parents. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Yeah, it's almost like this. It, it kind of goes flat in here. Yes, yeah, so that kind of like overhangs over the edge of it. All right, I'm fine with that. We're going to do a bathroom here and then a children's bedroom. Um, so it's going to be kind of a weird shape, this children's bedroom, but I think we can make it work because it's kind of long at this end, diagonal wall moment there. But I think we can make that work quite easily for a children's bedroom. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's a good footprint. That is a good footprint. I am going to move it slightly. I'm going to move this just a little bit more to like there because I would love to put in some kind of like driveway slash kind of like car parking area there. I think that would be kind of a nice vibe. Yes, it will indeed. Right. What we're going to do up here is add in a platform. We're not, well, yeah, a platform. We're going to add this in first. Let's get you to there and then I can pull you all the way along. I think what I want to do is, mm, I don't want to raise all of the platforms. So I think I'm just going to cut this off half to begin with. I'm going to raise you up. One, two, three, four. Yeah, because it's kind of quite thick at the top. That's what she said. Don't say that. We're moving on. 
And I think I'm going to do a roof piece at the back here. So I'm going to flop on this uh, half gabled. Is that right? Half gabled roof. Got it right first time. Bloody hell. And then I'm going to whiffle you all the way along. Pull you all the way along today. And then I'm going to try and get you at a decent... Oh, really? Oh, that gap there. That's going to infuriate me. Dude, can you go like that? And it would... No, you're still going to be there. What is that about? You know... What is that about? I can't put it anywhere else. I'm just going to do it a little bit higher than the rest of the house, I think. Yeah, do you know what? I reckon we can get away with that. I reckon we can get away with that quite nicely. Okay, so. Wallpapers. These were the wallpapers I had in mind. We got some panelling to kind of like act as the wooden panels that was in that reference image. Uh, this is from Eco Lifestyle as well. Love this panelling. I think it's gorgeous. Yes, we'll do that. We'll put the front. In fact, let's get the other wallpaper on as well. For the white, I think we're going to go for this plaster here. That came with uh, Eco Lifestyle as well. Um, I'm just going to colour everything in this white. And then I'm probably going to go through and pick out areas that I can put some more wood panelling in. But for now, we're just going to keep it completely blank. Okay, the top, the top of the uh, roof, I think we're going to stick with the black. So let's get to here and we'll go for maybe that colour. Yeah, I think that would work. Anyway, okay, door. We're going to put this door here. I think that would work. Yes, I like that. And I'm going to do all of this area. Not all of it. I think we'll do one of these there, the big one there. Then we'll get in the smaller one. Flop you to there. And one there. And I'm going to use this kind of like panelling detail to give off... It's almost got like a, it almost like ombres itself out. Uh, I, what I mean by that is like, it's kind of like thicker here. And then it kind of like goes a bit skinnier over on the window. Ah, oh, in fact, actually it's on that whole window. Okay, well, we'll do that. We'll do that instead. Oh, I like that. That's nice. That's a nice little bit of detail that. They're not that expensive either. I think they're about 75 simoleons, those little panels. So that's quite nice. I think because this one's almost got like metal columns i think i want to use these just on one side i'm not going to do it on the other yes i might go around to these sides as well let's put them on the other sides too and these are only 25 simoleons like we're hardly using any money yep that's gonna work it all looks a bit weird at the minute but as always my darlings trust the vis i'm gonna do this one up here on top of the black and then i think i want to use the solar roof on this one can we go for this one? How dark are you? You're not that dark, though. Hmm. I'm still going to use it anyway. I'm going to put the solar panel on top of the flat roof. This roof here acts as solar power as well, so that's quite nice. I might change. Can I eye drop this? Does this come in a black? Oh, it does. I might change that to black. Yeah, I'm kind of vibing a bit more with that. I think we do need to go ahead and put in a trim around the edges i think i'm gonna go for the inlaid one depending on the money 128 simoleons we can do that oh this is going to be nice very very modern eco lifestyle living yes they are dude and we need to work out windows the interior i think i pulled out this door here to put at the back here where can we put this one here i pulled this one out because i really like it let's do one there so it kind of adds some light into the hallway I would like another one in here. So maybe this one on the, the other side, like around here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let me just see. Let me just see the height of this. Just so we've got like two like differing windows around. Yep, yeah, I like that. Okay. And we do need to flood the living room with some windows as well. So I think what I want to do oh, is go down into the basement. But the looks of things is use this one, but also the, the smaller one as well. Yeah, I think that would be better. We'll just do two windows. There's a bathroom there. Oh, I could put this window right above it and then cover that with that paneling that we've done. Um. Anyway, hello. Anyway, I did not even say hello to you today. How rude. How rude am I? I hope you're all doing all right, my lovelies. I had a little bit of a episode earlier. I had a little bit of a, a an, an anxiety episode earlier. I think we can all relate to that quite easily. Um. But I'm feeling much better now. Me looking normal when earlier I was just like... <gasps> Going through a little bit of an anxiety moment. So we, we're all like it, my darlings. We are, it is normal if you do feel that way, let me just say. And I like to speak about it just so, you know, it's real life, isn't it? It's real bloody life. And yeah, but I'm feeling much better now. I really am. Okay, 
I'm going to do that there. Obviously, I need to do that. But I wanted to make extend that patio out a little bit higher anyway. So it kind of fits that um, door in it quite nicely. I don't think I want to do any more windows around this side. There's no point, really. I want to get the kitchen in here. So I don't really want another window there. I think I'm going to keep that free, to be honest. I think what I'm going to do is just grab a few thing, more things for the outside. Uh, the car some detail to look for some fences and stuff and i'm also going to go in and choose all the lighting wallpapers and flooring the interior but here we are pulled out a few things including a debug fence and we're going to put them around together in just a second i'm just going to show you what the interior is looking like so this is what we've gone for and i've changed the exterior because we went for that plain kind of like white cement i wanted a little bit more texture so I've gone for the base game white brick instead, and I prefer it. I do. We've gone for wood paneling on the interior as well. Um, and then upstairs, what I've done is just done a mixture. Mixture of like the plain white, but also the paneling. A um, bit of the brick. And then for the children's bedroom, I've gone for a little bit of colour. Just a tiny little bit of green, just to pop it out. And I'm kind of for it. Uh, I'm not going to do a banister. So if, the, if they fall down and they slip off over here, it's only their fault. They only have themselves to blame. But what I've done is just put this down here. So it kind of looks like it's structurally like holding up this bedroom. Because that was kind of like floating weirdly. And I just wasn't for it. I really, really wasn't. But that's what we've gone for. And I'm kind of happy. Kind of happy with it. Anyway, what we're going to do now is start on the exterior. So... I'm going to use this gravel here. I love this gravel. I think what I want to do, in fact, I'm going to do that whole area here, here, and here. I think what I want to do is wrap the head around from here. This one's from Debug. This one here is in the game, but it uh, it costs money. And I don't want to spend money on landscaping today, so we're using Debug. And I'm going to start with this fence here, which is from the Debug. Um eco lifestyle i haven't used this one before i think it is just literally a recolor of the one that came with was it get together this fence came with i can't remember yes and then i can get that pole and hopefully put it somewhere semi in the middle i mean it's a little bit shorter than the rest of them but shush. right where's the big ones show me the big ones uh if you can go all oh, excuse you all the way from here can I get another one in there? Oh, I can just about. I'm going to move you in just a little bit more like that. And then I'm actually going to use a fence over on this side here. So I think I'm going to use the, the eco lifestyle one. Oh, 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 we can't. Oh, we can't go from there. Damn. OK, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, What can I do? I can go there and I can grab a hedge. I gr <laughs> I'll grab a hedge. I'll flop the hedge into place first and then I'll get rid of the fence and that'll save us a little bit of money as well. So if I paint that gravel as well, then I can still fit a hedge over on that side there. I'm adamant about putting a hedge there for some reason. I don't know why, but I just think, yeah, nice. And then this does come with a matching gate, does it? No, it doesn't. So instead I've just gone for this. It's a bit classic looking, but I think it's okay. It fits in there semi-okay with me. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and I'm going to put this. This just looks weird in places. I don't know why. I might even put it like there. I just don't like it. I don't like mailboxes altogether, to be honest with you. I think that's fine. Okay, so let me just get on with a little bit more landscaping. And then what we're going to do is I'll bring out all the stuff that we're going to be putting out in the garden area. And we'll put it around together. So we've kept this garden very simple because I've just looked at the money and we've got 12,000 simoleons left. We need to be very, very careful. So what I'm going to do is just put in a little picnic bench just on this side here. A little sun lounger and put that in that position there. Uh, and you can always develop on this. I mean, I tried to get like a kid climbing frame in, but the it's 800 simoleons. So I was just like, absolutely not for me. Not for me. We're going to go for these planters here, which are from Eco Lifestyle. They're the kind of self-watering hydro, hydro, hydroponic ones. So they don't even need to water these. It's all done for you. Very ecological, futuristic house this is going to be. I think I'm done with the exterior. I think that's nice. Nice little attractive, modern, kind of like eco new build. It reminds me of... Um, and I'm kind of pleased with it. I think the bill is going to be quite low in this place. We shall find out. So we're going to make a start on the interior itself. So I'm going to pull out all the necessary things. 
oven, uh, fridge, uh, beds, that kind of vibe. And then we'll see how much money we're left over with. I've pulled out necessary things. Kitchen, uh, uh, sofas, not really necessary, but what they are. Pulled them out. Beds, all of these are kind of the fabricated ones, the ones that you can find in debug. They do cost money, um, but they really, really work. And I do like them. Bit of a weird layout with the bathroom. I'm going to figure that out a little bit further on. We're going to start with the kitchen first. So I'm going to hide the fridge as best as possible because it's very ugly. I'm going to go for this kitchen here as well. The base game kitchen. Just because it's got all of the colours that are in this house. And I think it's going to look kind of nice in here to be honest. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. And then put in a little sink. I'm not going to do any cupboards. I'm just going to do a shelf for the meantime. So let's get a sink in first, shall we? So a little kitchen sink. We're going to go for the cheapest one we can find. That will look okay in this place. Let's go for this one here. Oh, I hate that colour. Do you come in anything better? I mean, the white looks better. Yeah, let's go for that. That looks a little bit more ecological, doesn't it? Yes, it does not it? Um, I'm going to put in some shelves, or just a couple of shelves, and then I can figure out what we can put on there a bit later on. Okay, that's a working kitchen, apart from a bin, obviously. So let's get in the cheapest bin we can find for the minute and just flop you in there. Beautiful, 55 simoleons. And then we can utilize this as a dining area. Ooh, I'm kind of into that. What, what's this? What? What is that? What is that on my fucking ceiling? Honestly. But anyway, debug uh, chairs and Harry's table that is in game, in base game. I think this is going to be nice. I'm going to flop you to around about here. Definitely need some kind of greenery in this place, but we've just got the basics down for the minute. So that is a fully fledged working kitchen and dining area. Moving on to the living room. Mm, if I move that in a little bit further, is that going to be a bit of a weird layout? I don't care. I don't care. Watch someone complain in the comments about um, Feng Shui. I don't know how to say it properly. I hope that's the way you say it. I had someone in my comments once. It was about a month or something ago, maybe. You complained about the feng shui of a bedroom i was just like i don't know feng shui darling i'm, I'm a builder in the sims i'm not an architect um I, <laughs> I do not know about feng shui feng shui feng shui i think it's that um and yeah i just found that comment <laughs> absolutely hilarious uh so what did i do i ignored them yes i did i ignored them and i don't want to go for the cheapest tv it does need to be some kind of good tv but I don't really want to go for like these because that's 2,000 simoleons. I mean, this one here is still 1,500. I think we'll be okay with this. It's very small though, isn't it? Let me see if I can size it up. Can we get you up to a level where you're not going to be floating? Let's see. Oh no, that fits perfectly. Coffee table? Do we have... Oh, we have this one. I am going to have to maneuver things slightly though. So I think this chair needs to come out a little bit wider now. That door is going to have more than enough room to open there anyway. I think I'm going to do that. Maybe a rug in here. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We definitely need some kind of bookcase. No, do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to put the bookcase there. I'm going to put the bookcase on that there. They've got enough room to walk through there. It should be fine. Okay. That's not too bad. We've got 4,500 simoleons left. As I'm not going to go ahead and put in any more detail just yet. Until I have gone upstairs and made sure that we've got everything that we need for these bedrooms so let's do that starting with the main bedroom ah uh, i would love to use this wardrobe in here but i'm just wondering can we just go for a drawers instead of having a wardrobe yeah we'll go for that one there it's a little bit softer that's a little yeah that's nice and then i think i want i want to put a mirror above or do we want to use this one here because this one's just a great mirror all together i'm going to use this one instead yeah okay well they've got a mirror i'm going to pop you there we're going to go for two bedside tables. Yeah, we'll go for these. I'll flop two of these either side. They're only 90 simoleons each as well, which is nice. So let's go on to the children's bedroom and just get everything I want out for this kid. Uh, we'll go for a wardrobe in here, though. I think I'll put the wardrobe over there because that wardrobe does come in some fun colours, doesn't it? I think that should be fine. This room kind of needs to have some curtains. Um, hmm. These are all expensive. They're 200 and these are like... 35 simoleons. We're going to use these. We're going to use these in the green. They're not perfect, but I think it will just work out quite well. Anyway, so we need stuff for the children to play with. So, did, oh, oh, I thought, oh, it did. I was just about to say, I thought that cardboard um, 
Dolls House came with this pack. How much are you anyway? 125 simoleons. We're gonna we're gonna use this. So at least they've got activities that they can use. A little bedside table for the kid as well. Yeah, we'll go for this one. That one's fine. And then what I can do is put up that little, maybe that little robot light or something. You come in like a plainer colour. Oh, you do. There we go. We'll flop you on top there like that. Right, we've got 2,000. 600, no, 963 simoleons left so i want to pull out some more details for the downstairs so let me do that so there we are some final details i've put in a rug underneath of the actual sitting room area um this lamp here which is in also in the debug is a fabricated one a couple of plants over on this side i hung a coat rack up there i've also put an extra chair in just by like the reading area uh, I think that could work, but it just needs to come out a little bit more like that, I think. Yes, that's better. That's better indeed. And I've put a couple of things up on the shelves. Those were the only things that matched in with the aesthetics in base game and eco lifestyle that goes up on the shelves. So that's what I've done. Smoke alarm, put a plant over in this corner as well, and a little bowl up on the table. We've still got 1400 simoleons, so I think we're going to be okay to put in the more details upstairs too. Um, which is what I'm going to do now. Starting with the main bedroom, I'm going to put in these lamps here. They're 50 simoleons each. I think that's going to be fine. Just adds a little bit more light over into that area. I'm kind of feeling it. I almost want some kind of picture up behind this bed though. Let's see what we can find. I'm going to go for this. Just a little bit of detail just behind the bed. A little panelled moment behind there I think would look quite nice. It does stick out the bloody wall about six miles though. But no, I think that position was better. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm thinking maybe hmm, what I could do is bring up a little chair and put it in this window. Now, we do have that other one. How much are you? 205 simoleons. Oh, I kind of like it in that color there as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of into that. I'm kind of into that indeed. And I think maybe up here. Hmm. Can I use this? I can overlap them slightly. That's fine. Yeah. I don't really like the clothes on display in here. Uh, I'm going to keep it. We're going to do it. It's going to be fine. I'm going to put that mirror over there just so it balances out on that wall a little bit better. And also, just to finish off in here, bring in a rug. No, I think that's the best out of the bunch. That'll do. That'll do. Yes, it will. I don't think I'm going to do anything in here just yet. I'm going to concentrate on trying to figure out a floor plan for this bathroom. So let's do that first. Yeah, I had to move the window. I've moved the window, but I've used another one of those panels just so it kind of like fits in with what we've done down here on the other side there. Yeah, that's fine. Moved the window and it's made the floor plan a whole lot easier. So I'd rather just have an easy ride with this floor plan because of where the window was. It was just not allowing me to put in where I wanted the shower and stuff. So uh, I think I'm going to leave that like it is for the minute because I would love to just chuck in a few more details into this children's bedroom. So we're going to be careful. Let's get a chair in here. Uh, how much are you? You're 95 simoleons. Would you fit in with this room? Oh, you do quite nicely, actually. Well, I'm going to flop the chair into this corner and hopefully have enough money left for that wall mounted bookcase. 175 simoleons. We are going to be completely done after that <laughs> because we won't have enough money left. <laughs> I haven't got, I won't be able to afford anything for the wall. Do we have a wall decoration like a juice? Oh, we do have some things. No, we don't. <laughs> so it's a very plain wall. Wondering if I could get rid of something just so I can get some decorations up in the kids' bedroom because I do feel very sorry for them. I got rid of a plant. I got rid of a plant and it's gave us this here and I never really go to use this. But I think it would fit in here quite nicely. 50 simoleons. Can we size that up or would it look weird? It would look weird. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. I think that's going to be the extent of their decorations. Poor kid. But it's a start at home. All right. We need to be, we need to remember that. It is a start at home. We're done, my darlings. We are done with an evergreen harbour start at home. I think that looks very fresh, modern, and I'm kind of into it. Yeah, cute. So obviously this is the front exterior. Little drive up moment with a carport and stuff there. We come around to this side here. A little bit of a weird shape, but I'm kind of into it weirdly. Um, at least the kids got some privacy with those curtains. They've got a nice little backyard area that could be developed on quite easily. I think that's going to work. Um, yeah, wraps around this way. Beautiful. 
Oh, oh, do you know what? I'm very pleased with that. I'm very pleased with how it looks. Really am. Anyway, into the main entrance. So you come straight into here. And you are greeted with a little living room area with a big flat screen TV, may I add. Um, stairs going up this way. I like the kind of like look through there. That's nice. Uh, little seating moment in the corner there. Up to a dining room and kitchen. Everything that they're going to need to stay alive. Big glass slidey doors that takes you out into the back garden area. Nice. And then you come around this way. Come up these stairs like this. Um, we'll start off with the children's bedroom because there's hardly anything in here. I think it still looks nice though. You know, it's got everything that the kid would need. It's got a toy box. It's got a doll's house for goodness sake. Books, wardrobe. Lovely little moment there. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Uh, and then into the bathroom. So no full bath in here. I might shuffle that window along. I don't like how it's cutting into the wall there. I'll do that in just a second. Toilet, sink, shower, nothing else. They've got no loo roll, so they're just going to have to get in the bath and wash their bum in the bath, to be honest. Did you wash your ass today? And then um, <laughs> the main bedroom. I like that. I like that look there. I think that's really nice with the panels and stuff behind the wall. Um, little seating area in the window there. And a little clothes area there. If you want to see the floor plans as well, my darlings, I will go above it. Here is the floor plans. And then downstairs, there. <gasps> We're done. We are done. Nice little modern starter home uh, for Evergreen Harbour. Let me know down below what you would like, what world you would like me to build in next little starter home. And I will get to it, my darlings. I really will. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be back tomorrow with a challenge video. Leave me some lovely comments. And I'll see you all then.